Carol Malone has weighed in on the major backlash Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield have received over reportedly skipping the queue to see Queen Elizabeth II lying in state. Carol ripped into the This Morning presenters on GB News as concerns grow they could be booed at the upcoming National Television Awards in October. Speaking on GB News on Monday evening, Daily Express columnist Carol discussed Holly and Philip receiving accolades at previous National Television Awards. She began, every time they collect an award, which they do every year, they make the speech and thank viewers and say, thank you to our viewers who watch the program, you have made us what we are. And yes, they pretend like they are connected to them but they clearly have no connection if they didn't realize how what they did was going to be interpreted. More than 70,000 people have signed a petition to get Holly and Philip sacked from this morning after they skipped the queue to see the Queen's coffin. Yellowstone's Lloyd Star shares warning for season 5 premiere thousands of mourners lined the streets of central London for hours to pay their respects to the late monarch, including Good Morning Britain's Susanna Reid and David Beckham. Many This Morning viewers blasted Holly and Philip's apology on This Morning last week which failed to use the word sorry. Carol compared the situation to Partygate which happened under Boris Johnson's leadership as the Conservative Prime Minister. The Partygate scandal involved a host of MPs preaching coronavirus restrictions in Downing Street in 2020 and 2021 when lockdown rules were in place. Police officers issued 126 fixed penalty notices to 83 individuals found to have committed offences under COVID-19 regulations, including one to the Prime Minister, his wife Carrie Johnson and former Chancellor Rishi Sunak. They all apologised for breaching the rules and paid the penalties. Carroll continued. This reminds me of Boris and Partygate, there is what they did and then there was the cover-up of what they did, and that, I think, has been the worst thing. Last week, I only wrote about, Holly and Philip, as my column lead on Saturday because this happened on Monday and I thought it would all be gone by Tuesday or Wednesday. They think their royalty Phil and Holly slammed by BGT star, latest Graham Norton calls Phil and Holly foolish after Q jump drama, update Janet Street Porter sparks uproar with awkward dig at Holly and Phil, reaction, she claimed the reason the Q jumping story has not gone away yet is because lots of mistruths have been told. Carol added, one of the things, Holly and Philip said as, we were doing it for all the people who couldn't go, to see the Queen's coffin. No, they weren't because none of their camera crew was in Westminster Hall and everyone was watching it on a 24-7 feed anyway. There were only official cameras in there anyway, they were not doing it for anybody, they were doing it for themselves. Express.co.uk has contacted ITV for comment. An ITV spokesperson said, This morning had press accreditation and like other media, Philip and Holly were escorted to work from the press gallery by government staff. They did not file past the Queen's coffin. They were there alongside a host of other broadcasters and national press outlets for an item that was broadcast on Tuesday's, 20th, show. Any allegations of improper behavior are categorically untrue. Holly has reportedly been hit hard by the criticism and has remained off social media as a result. The pair have been putting on a united front hosting this morning this week as per usual, 